Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday after the weekend in which I skied my fucking tits off. Feeling 50 today, or past 50, which I am. Wow, sore everywhere. Uh, but the skiing was epic, so we're thankful for that. Haven't had snow like this in maybe a decade uh, in the region. So, uh, enjoyable weekend. Anyway, back to uh, back to the salt mines here. Just looking around, we got risk off. Yeah, a tiny bit of risk off here. Um, Euro not doing much from where we closed. Tickled down to 65, but those were the dollar Swiss stops that went through. 89.20. Um, need to get rid of these volume bars. I don't know what I'm doing with those. OTC market. Um, 89.20 is important on like sort of a daily close. It's dollar Swiss, so it's going to be a bit of a cock jocker. Um, <clears throat> I think it's going to go. I think people are going to continue to get short dollars and this whole short dollar thing, Democrat thing, um, is going to go up in smoke for the next couple of months. We're going to turn risk off and there'll be a, a stampede towards dollars. And then once that's all over, then we can go back to the standard sort of global macro economic playbook that the Biden government and the U.S. government in general just needs to weaken the dollar just to kind of survive. Um, but right now I'm looking the other way, right? So we're looking at ways to get long dollars. Um, core long dollar Swiss looks all right. Dollar yen is now getting caught in cross yen down, down draft. You see Aussie yen's down thir uh, a third of a percent. Overnight, CAD yen, 40 basis points. Um, so dollar yen's not doing anything. Euro yen, lower. This is also on Europe troubles. I haven't looked at BTPs uh, on this call in a while, but as you can imagine, BTPs is just one way to play risk off. Every time things go risk off, people talk about debt to GDP in Italy and the broken economy and no revenue and the aging population and the mafia and the corruption in Rome, blah, blah, blah. You know, this, as are, the great things about Italy are just the food, the people, the geography. Give you a little tip. You want to ski Go skiing in the Dolomites in northern Italy. Make you cry like a baby. That is the best skiing in the world. Uh, pound for pound. In my book. Anyway, I digress. Um, let's go to Dollars R. Gotta pick some of this stuff up. It was a bit lackadaisical on Friday. I still got some chances here. I don't think uh, anything's going to clear up for these guys anytime soon. A um, few highs here at 30. Maybe try and swing low. 21, 15, 21, 15, 15. Pick up some dollars. Our dollar max, we have no idea. Biden's obviously great for Mexico compared to Trump. Mexico still Mexico, um, so that's not great. Talk about corruption, um, but oil's above fifty bucks. So even with corruption, it's not. You have some revenue, pretty decent revenue streams there. I don't know what's going to happen with Dollar Max, and the chart doesn't know either. We punched the downside, sideswiped the upside. Now we're back in the middle with you. 
1983. Great year. Not really. Um, 83. God, that was a while ago. Euro Swiss. We're just kind of looking at it because this is sort of tells us tale of how few people feel about Europe still on its knees. Aussie. We've been short Aussie and Aussie and a lot. Um, and we have not made any money on it so far this year. Um, it's just annoying. But 7666, we talked about it. 711. The devil owned 7-Eleven Mephistopheles. 7666. Could be interesting. What do we have here? We got these lows here at uh, 78. Here's our 666. Are people going to do this? I don't think so. This is a pretty use, not very useful, but... I don't know, it's just risk off, so I mean, it's still high ones, I guess, like, but you saw the, check this bar on Friday, right, um, what the fuck was this, right, 80 given, 20 paid, that's a two-way market, even though this looks quite one way, when it goes up a half a percent on a dap, in the midst of a downtrend that's only like one and a half percent old, uh, it's troubling and here's that move on the upside on on uh, on Friday similar to this move which broke some hearts broke some privateer hearts um, on the 14th Aussie's been tough Aussie yen same same dick fuck moves bang higher bang higher in the midst of lower 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 uh, Anyway, close your eyes, short Aussie. Maybe that's the best way, or maybe just sell S and P's if you have access to futures and whatnot. I guess everybody does these days, some form or another. Cad yen, taking it. Eighty one, twelve. Shit looks bad. Shit looks bad. Whew. Are they going to draw this? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. She's a sexy motherfucker. It kind of defines the uptrend there, right? It's weird that we stopped there today. Cadian and Aussie Yen. Just try and sell high ones. Low ones have not been working. Um, I don't think... Uh, Spoos are going to fall out of bed today. We might have some down drafts, but I'm not expecting a 200 handle day or anything. Euro sterling is the ultimate tease. 88.60 just won't go. Uh, keep your eye on it, though. It'll go when you least expect it. Uh, and there is there will be some money to be made at 88.60. Obviously, the bulls have been making most of the money at 88.60. Uh, but one of these days, the bears will also make money. But if you're a bull and you've been buying, good for you. Um, well done, Johnny. I salute you. Kiwi Yen, you can imagine. Looks like she's turning. Kiwi also. Rug burns. She has some rug burns. And Dollar Cat. Didn't like it down at 126. This is bid. I don't know why. I think the market is short dollar cad. Um, buying buying low ones in dollar cad looks good. On the momentum trade, I don't see any great levels. Um, the people are short euro cad. Maybe that's why dollar cads has some extra shorts in it. Um, and then, oh yeah, look at this. Guess what the high in dollar China was? Six fifty. Wow, sexy. Nice round number. Dollars turning. 
everybody's everybody's long CNH. That's a nice point. Medium term pivot. Six fifty. For those of you who listen to fifty cent, I am not one of those people. You also might like this le- like this level. Six fifty. Dollar China. Gold clubbed like a baby seal down to eighteen oh one. But now fairly resilient, but all of this indecision followed by down moves. We're not playing in gold right now, but she looks like she wants lower. And S and P's also she looks like she wants lower. Match that low from Friday at thirty seven forty. Um S and P's don't look great. And if you look at what's going on with um, the way Biden thinks about economics and taxes and some of his economic team and throw a little Bernie Sanders into that blender, um, take your political hat on and just put your economics hat on. It's not super great. Um for big companies, for tech companies, uh, for people who like to pay less taxes. You'll be disappointed um, with what's about to happen. Throw in the fact that uh, the major cities in America are not going to be teetering on bankruptcy soon. They, no revenue, all debt, crappy leadership. Uh, looking at you, New York City. Um, could be some trouble. Could be some trouble first quarter. We're looking for the standard sort of trouble. March crush. Um, remember last year it started on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Uh, so, I don't know. We're getting towards the end of January here, 19th of January. Still got a couple weeks till we get to February, but not looking great. Picture's not looking great. Anyway babbling finally bitcoin not doing dick right in the middle looks offered when it's offered looks bid when it's bid but effectively it's just not doing dick so just leave bitcoin alone right now oh yeah and finally dollar crude uh, crude dollar crude crude oil um almost bearish and golf there we've been playing this on the short side sell high ones in crude is is uh it's been working uh so we just stick with that stick with that uh, so high ones. So we're at 52.07. You can almost just close your eyes and order 52, offer 52.45s and 52.75s and see how she goes. Said enough. Good luck, people. Enjoy um, the day. Make some dough. All that jazz. Ciao.